Let's see if we can now solve a couple of problems from the SAT involving powers of i. And I encourage you to pause the video and try them out on your own. So let's just give the first one a read. You can see this is from May 2019 QAS. In the complex number system, what is the value of the given expression? i squared plus a negative i squared. And in the last video, we learned that i squared is equal to a negative 1. And this is because the definition of i says, and they've also given it to us here, that i is equal to the square root of negative 1. So if you just square both sides, you'll find out that this is equal to negative 1. And for the second one, for a negative i squared, well, I can just write this as the product of a negative 1 squared times i squared. I just used my exponent properties here. And so this would be a negative 1 squared is just a 1. And we multiply that with an i squared. So it's the same as i squared, which is a negative 1. So our expression would just be equal to, this would be a negative 1, and this would also be a negative 1. And we have to add both of them. So we're just going to get a negative 1 plus a negative 1, which is a negative 2. So there's our answer right there. And the key thing to questions on the SAT is that you need to figure them out as quickly as possible. And to do that, I don't think you needed to write all of this down. I just did it to show you. But in, on the actual test, what you would do is you would take a look at this. You would know that this would be a negative 1. You would take another look at this, and you would know this is a negative 1. And you can just add them in your head and get to your answer. Because you don't get any points for writing anything down. In the same way, let's do the second question. In the complex number system, what is the value of the expression 16i raised to the power 4 minus 8i squared plus 4? Pause the video and see if you can figure this out. Assuming you've given it a go, let's just take a look at this expression right here. So i raised to the power 4, as we know from the last video, is a 1. i squared, we know, is a negative 1. So 16 times a 1 would just be 16. So all this, this thing right here is 16. And then this thing would be 8 times a negative 1. That would be a negative 8, actually. And then you have a negative 4 here. You have a positive 4 here, sorry. So a 16 minus an 8 would be an 8 plus a 4. That would be a 12. So there's your answer right there, a 12. And, and, and as always, you had to do this in your head. And so that's the quickest way to get to your answer.